Oh, look at this back rod right there. I swear I think it's got some weight on it. I didn't feel it, but I felt my kayak kind of leaning a little bit. I'm gonna, I'll tell you, I just got robbed on this bait over here and put me another skipjack head on. Well, I got my line all wrapped around my rod. Doggone it. I'm gonna just drop it down right quick and then I'm gonna turn around there and see what's on that other line. It's sure acting like a flathead though. Just characteristic, don't even feel it bite. Sometimes you'll feel a thump. That rod up there just got bumped too. Sometimes you don't. I didn't feel this bite over here, but I'm getting baited up with the other one and I, and I feel my kayak moving. I'm just gonna, my line's at an angle, he's on there. Yep, yep, I got him. I got him. I bet you it's a flathead. I bet you a $10 bill. A brand new one too, real good and crisp. Ain't even got no cocaine on it. I'll bet you it's a flathead. Ain't that something y'all, I'd read something a while back that like, I forget the percentage, but it was a big percentage of dollar bills have, have drugs on them. <laughs> like people, People could just light their money on fire and probably have a dang good time. <laughs> Be like my neighbors lighting their money on fire when they buy fireworks. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna hear, what we're gonna talk about on this channel, folks. When I've caught this many fish today in such a short time, I'm out of commentary. You never know where the conversation's gonna go. I'm 100% convinced this is a flathead though. From the bite, to the way he's pulling. I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, there he is. There he is, that's a flatty. I see my bait, my stinger, okay. My bait's come up the line there. I thought, man, he's, he's, he's done something weird there, but he just threw that bait up the line. Yeah, another flathead, y'all. That's number two on the morning. All right, Flatty, you come on in here now. There he is, folks. He kind of looks like that other one I'd caught earlier done, too. That other one had some black mark on his head there. Comparable size, heck, it may be the same fish. Hell, I don't know. He just, he wanted to get a another one of my baits. He's hungry, I reckon. If it is the same fish, I don't know. Well, y'all, there it is. Another old flatty, old flathead. I don't know if that's the same fish or not. It, this one may be a little smaller than that last night. I can't remember. I had so much going on when that first flathead hit with a quadruple that was a disaster with my front two rods and had that big blue. It was, I got, I got a fish right here on this front rod. Let's let this flathead go. We'll see you, buddy. He's out of here. I gotta pick up on this and y'all. Oh man. He's pulling. I got one on the front rod here on his head. This feels like a better fish right here too. Let me spin the camera around a little bit. Yeah, buddy. Getting some more fish, getting active here. I'm just gonna stay spot locked here all morning, y'all. Ain't no reason to get on the move when what I'm doing is working. I'm getting enough action. I'm getting good enough quality. I'm not gonna change a thing. I think this is probably a blue right here. This other rod over here is going down on the front. He's pulling now, man. He just took back off. I think I got one. I do. I got one on this other rod over here. I don't know if you can see with the camera angle I got pointed. Dang flathead started a feeding frenzy here all of a sudden. <laughs> Get this one up here and take a look at him. I'll reel down on the other one. That other one over there is going to have to wait his turn. These fish get impatient. They won't let me finish reeling in one before the next one comes along. Look at this one. Look at it right there. Look at it. Look at it go down. There it goes. There it goes tripled. 
if I could drop my other bait down at the flathead eat, I'd probably get quadrupled right here. Yeah, this right here, that's a fun sizer right there. That's a fun size blue. Get the camera over here, get a look at him. Like blue cat, tell the camera hi real quick because I got to put you back in the rod holder. He says he ain't having none of that. All right, let's set that back. Put the camera back in the chest so y'all can see what's going on. And this one's run over here by my dang trolling motor too. Let me get him out of that mess. I think he's in that other line up there. God dang it. Here we go again. This is a, this is a rerun. This is a rerun of what happened earlier. Look at this. I got this fish from the other front line over here. <laughs> How does this keep happening? Doggone it. Well, this, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and land this dang thing. I'm gonna go ahead and land him. Otherwise, I ain't gonna be able to get these other lines in. This fish was hell bent on getting his camera time right now. He wasn't waiting on these other fish, by gosh. He's got stuff to do. He's got a hair appointment later today. You can see what a head of hair he's got on him. Oh, oh. He about got me an ER appointment. He about broke my hunt thumb then, twisting like that. Come here, fish. Uh-uh, uh-uh now. Uh-uh. No pliers on you. Ain't no calls in you acting that way. I've been good to you and your friends, letting you go. You could be strung out on that trot line up there I found yesterday. There he is, folks. He's a fun sizer, but he ain't very much fun. He's an ornery old devil. Well, let's see if I can get these lines untangled now. If I can get this undone, maybe I can reel in the other fish if he's still on. What a mess. All right, there goes that. Now let me get the rod, my line out from my rod tip there. Now let's see what's going on here. Is this fish still on? He's gone. I messed around with that fish so much. He, he got him a free meal out of it. He got him a free one, folks. Well, we've got one out of the three thus far. Let's see if this one's still hanging around. This one here is a little bit more patient. This fish said he didn't have nothing to do today. He didn't have nothing going on, no hair appointments. Didn't need to get his oil changed or anything, so he could wait on me. I may give this one here some front camera time, even if he ain't front camera worthy. I may go ahead and and give him a little a little camera time, see if I can help him out. Just You know, you gotta take care of the people who take care of you. And this fish here was so patient and kind. I'm gonna hook him up today. I see him on my screen. Look right here as I pull him up. That big blob right there. That may be some shad, actually. I thought that was him I was pulling up. Maybe I'm imagining things. No, I think it is, because I think it's I think it was some bubbles coming up there that he was. Ah hell, I don't know. Don't pay no attention to me, people. I don't know what to tell them. There's the bubbles. Yeah, there they are. I thought that's what I was seeing on the live scope. Yeah, it was bubbles he was releasing. Yeah, it's a... Uh, he's one that's not front camera worthy, but by gosh, he's getting his time. That was a nice fit. And he's even left the bait on. Okay. Yes, sir. That's a fun sizer. Now the bar's been set high this morning with the action and the other big fish and the flatheads, but I'm a man of my word. And I said, I was going to give this fish right here some front camera time. And well, you're welcome, blue cat. He says, he says, thank you. <laughs> give this fish right here a follow on Instagram. Why don't you, you got TikTok too, fish? He probably does. Everybody does these days. Get out of here. Good buddy. He gone. Oh my gosh, did you really just watch all the way to the end of this clip? That's amazing. Thanks so much. Well, hey, 
If you're liking what you're seeing and you want to check out the full length video, go to my main channel, Kayak Catfish. I got the full length video from this trip, plus a ton of others over there that you might like. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you over there.